Progression two for the uh, trapezius is done using the stability ball, and it's going to be going to go to a very similar position we were in progression one, um, only this time around that we've replaced the roller for the ball. What I'm going to do is I've got my toes sort of flexed and the heels of my feet against the wall, and that's going to give me a bit of stability. I'm going to bring the ball right up to my pelvis, and so then when I lean on the ball, it's my pelvis that goes onto it, and not my belly. From here. I can then, I'm lifting my feet so that my heels are into the floor. I'm squeezing my quads so my knees are tight. And I'm squeezing my glutes and that's what's going to support my, that's what's going to support my extension. It's all coming from the quads and the glutes. Then I'm going to perform my drawing and manoeuvre at the belly. I'm going to draw my head back, keeping my nose at the floor so my, I'm not tucking, I'm just drawing my head back. And then I'm going to squeeze my shoulder blades together and push them down. From this position, I'm going to turn my hands out and I'm going to reach down towards my feet. And then I'll hold here for four seconds and then I'll release over two. Relax, do my triple extension, heels, quads, glutes, draw in, chin back, shoulder blades together, shoulder blades down. Turn the hands out and reach for the feet. Hold for four. So it's a two, four, two. Two seconds to perform the action, four second hold, two second coming out. If you've got that cracked, there's two progressions. Um, we'll see how I do with them. Definitely do the second one. The third one's pretty hard. So I'm gonna go back into the same position. And again, excuse me. Heels, quads, glutes, draw in, yeah, chin back, shoulder blades together, shoulder blades down. But now instead of my arms coming towards my feet, I'm still going to turn my hands out. I'm going to lift them up to the sides, a bit like a crucifix position. And I'll hold there. The whole point throughout these is you're squeezing those shoulder blades back and down and maintaining the shoulder blades in those positions as you go. If you feel you lose the activation there, go back, do the one lower down, okay? But if you can do it out to the side, well done. This next one, so you think we've gone back and down, down here, not up, down, and then back and out here. This next one, we're gonna bring, we're not gonna turn so much, but we're gonna come at this angle, so halfway between here and here, with the thumb, thumbs leading and up. But while doing it, we're gonna maintain that contraction of the shoulder blades. And it sounds easy, but it's actually quite a demanding exercise. So I'll get into position again, heels into walls, squeeze the quads, squeeze the glutes, draw in at the belly, chin back, shoulder blades together, shoulder blades down, and then start to lift the arms up. And then in, and now I can feel I'm losing that. So I would have to go back to this one to improve that further. But those who can't teach, which is <laughs> which is where it is. So that's where I'd be on that progression. I would stay to the side until you know I do three sets of twelve of those, and then do that for a week, and then try and progress again up to this this one up here. Okay, that's progression two.